night for the ladies, man. That's right. Yeah. We're taking over Johnny Mac. Uh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah, remember Missy was in this? Yippee, yeah. Yippee. Oh, come here. I'm the only one that remember Missy. Give me how. Y'all remember Missy? <laughs> yeah, I remember Missy. That's the same hairdo. That was crazy. Ah, oh, hysterical. <laughs> you know what? Whatever what happened to her? I don't know, man. She, she uh, actually is sick, but she got better. What? She, she had like she some said condition, right? What was it? She, she got sick? She had like two tracks. She had what? She had like two tracks out recently. Yeah. She sound like two tracks. What? She's had two tracks out recently. She had two tracks out But she's got new music out. But she had she had an illness. Let me make that old man here. Yeah. Miss it, two chains you gotta, out. You gotta use your man voice. <laughs> they got the old man here. Two chains got shot. Talking so low like this motherfucker pillow talking. <laughs> <laughs> so well, welcome, welcome to Generation Bizzle Radio, where we do this every Friday. It goes down. This is the ladies' night out. We got a whole bunch of lady MCs. We got a female DJ here. So this is for the ladies. We doing it big for y'all. Johnny Mac been complaining about all the do love going. We got around. a whole pregnancy test in here just waiting for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, so this is how we gonna do it. Uh, First, let me, let me start this off right. I'm your boy, D. Bizzle, the future a list. Bam, there you go. Yeah, I'll bring you back to that. And I'm joined here with my beautiful, vivacious, incomparable, amazing, intriguing, mm. erotic. Erotic? Erotic, bro. <laughs> Woo! She, I heard. That's what I heard. Erotic. Maybe I'm making you think things. I Tanisha know. Danielle. You sure are. Emailish. That ain't saying any kind of word. <laughs> erotic, emailish. Emailish. Twitterish. And the man you hear right there, this is the man. Those were the worst clap I've heard. It really was. This is the man who basically. I've heard, I've heard better clap at a clinic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Take your while to get that. Right, right. Okay. This is the man. This is the man basically who uh, who told LeBron he's gonna fix his headband uh. and get him a brand new lace front headband. Uh. First name Johnny, uh -huh. last name Mac, uh -huh. middle name motherfucker, uh -huh. and when you put it all together, you get Johnny, Johnny motherfucking Mac. Mac. I'm gonna say shout out to LeBron. Uh, he won his championship. Yes. I was hurt by that. I was happy. No, I had already wrote like 25 jokes that I don't know what to do with now. So I'm going <laughs> to put them on hard. I'm going to get put on them on hard? Yeah, he was terrible. Get the red because he got that Forrest Whitaker fade. I'm like, why is his head like that? I think the he, fade don't ever. It's Propecia or something. <laughs> I think he did play basketball with a head, uh, right. a do-rag or something. Ooh, he's right. like Kevin Durant. Like he a baby Durant. Spot, Kevin Durant is spot nothing head. but like a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Why would you pick on him? I, I'm, I picking like on I, I'm picking on Harden. I'm picking on Harden. Harden was absolutely terrible. And in Westbrook, yeah, he got he's moody. He got the estrogen pills in him or something. I don't know no mustache. No mustache. Russell Westbrook is a brewing. Without a mustache, without a mustache, your sweat don't know where to stop at. Right. Right. Just come from his forehead all down to his nigga throat area. Right. Like you got lip gloss down his chest. Yeah. His lip gloss is popping. And we talked about this earlier. I don't trust a dude without a mustache. It's just too much. I can't roll with you in the fourth quarter. I can't roll with you without a mustache. I got to go with somebody that got a mustache. He's the Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson had a mustache. I'm looking around the room. Everybody got a mustache. All dudes got mustaches. That's what has to Unless happen. Unless you're going out for a roll or something like that, you playing uh, Percy Jackson 3. Uh, <laughs> 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 I seen Brandon on, it, on Tuesday. He act like he was Hollywood. Ooh. I could go to that some other time. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Steven Turner know what happened, though. Yeah. Brandon Jackson act like nobody want to slap the shit out of him. That's right, right. right. He was tall. I'm like, are you on that bath song? Yeah, nigga, I, I see your roll bounce, nigga. You ain't a star yet. Right, yeah. That thing, he was acting weird. He was like, yeah, Martin Lawrence hurt my career. Like, no, he didn't. He hurt your career. Yeah, you hurt your own career. How did he hurt his career? He's talking about Big yeah, Big Mama's house. He said that was a bad move and Martin Lawrence hurt my career. Oh, like Roll Bounce and what? Percy Jackson and right. the Lightning Thief. Yeah. And fucking lottery ticket was critically right. acclaimed. Bow wow. Fuck out of here. Okay. Martin Lawrence hurt. I I've seen better movies on JetBlue. Okay. <laughs> that nigga's terrible. Hysterical. And we also have a special guest here, DJ Sin City. What's going on? What's good? What's good? How do you, you spell the Sin City? Like S-I-N? S-Y. S-Y. Why, why do you call it that? It's like, it's that fucked up that... <laughs> She's just, no, she just why? sinful on the turntable. I'm just saying, you know, because, you know, when I hear the word sin, I'm thinking there's some bad shit going on. No, I'm just right. trying to be different, you know. I mean, unique, you know. I'm like, okay, what? Sin with a Y? Okay, all right. I know which sin that is. Where mm. you from? Uh, New York. What, what, what part of New York? Long Island. Hey, hey, Ain't shit going on out there. <laughs> <laughs> Only about Long Island to drink. <laughs> Basically. Well, um, Matt Got a story about Long, Long Island. APMD. Uh, they broke up. Rakim. Rakim is one of the greatest. Anybody in the two thousand? He is one of the greatest. Besides CJ Simpson. Hey, you can't I shit out. I mean, <laughs> think about it. People in the two thousand really ain't shit. That's when what hip hop was. B two K is off the hook. <laughs> they lost to two K. This is B. Shout out to Razz B. Actually, you know what? 
<laughs> how, do, how do you go from that? That's when he he was talking about uh uh Trey songs and talking about Chris Brown. He said Chris Brown was messing with him, so it was a whole new story. What what, what did Chris Brown actually mess with him about? He said that him you know. Don't nobody even know you. <laughs> hey, no no no. He was saying they was messing yeah. around in a different kind of, of, type of way. a, a manly that loving, nigga loving way. No, he's lying. <laughs> he's lying. so yeah. So, okay. who's gonna believe Raz? What's his name? Raz B. Who's gonna believe him? I, I'm gonna go with, roll with Chris Brown. And his brother. I kind of think Raz B was touched. You think so? I don't know if he was touched by Chris Brown, by Chris but Strokes? I think that somebody, yeah, Chris I think Strokes. somebody touched Raz B. He was, he was he molested by a, a Muppet lot. hand puppet. <laughs> 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 Some of the Muppets had, had their way with it. Ain't nobody. Yeah. But he always waits. I don't know many brothers that come out with that kind of right. But he, but he always waits for somebody to come out with a movie or album. But this is called a lie. But that, I mean, that kind of like, how many brothers you know that would say that they've been molested Why by you got the soft music while you play? <laughs> you ain't got no gun sound or something. You talking about some dude getting touched and this nigga playing some fucking... Let me show you how that <laughs> What? No, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. Because here's my thing, if it was really true, he would have said it a long time ago. Impossible. Chris Brown ain't did that. <laughs> I'm not talking about Chris Brown. <laughs> the soundtrack. He ain't messing with that boy. That's, that's I don't think Chris Brown did, but I think somebody touched ain't nobody Brad's touched because he, he talking about it a lot. I, yeah, I think so. So, um, so yeah, so we, we got... He's gay. Of course he can't think straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> damn. It took y'all a while to catch that. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> it's okay. It's Johnny okay. Mac is going yesterday. You have to pay today. attention, oh, baby. That's the funny thing. You know, people joke. can see you texting and tweeting. There's camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got I got, a, I got an Instagram. Huh? I got an Instagram oh. where we live, you know? Oh, okay. So, so they can see what's going on. I appreciate on at the same that. Time, you know? I like your action. My Twitter fans. <laughs> Followers, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen uh, Step It Up? Yes. You know the girl in the Step It Up 2? Step It Up 2? Oh, like breakdancing and stuff? Yeah, remember? You kind of remind me of her. She like, I just used to break dance. You I did? Her, I taught her how to dance. You used to break dance? <laughs> you used to break dance? Yeah. What was I, your I break dancing her. name? Right. Kit Kat. Kit Kat? Yeah, I used to break it down. Break it down <laughs> I was Lil Smurfette. <laughs> what? Oh, you, yes. You did the Smurf? Mm, I did. The, I, I would end with the Smurf. Wow. Oh. What about you, Johnny? I was Mac? a pop locker. Uh, you did a cop? I did nothing. <laughs> no running man. Ain't gonna be no goddamn dancing. You did the triple beam. Yeah, I, I can work a triple beam. <laughs> goddamn right. I, it was all a dream. I'm busy. You know the time you have to fuck around with no cardboard and tear up my mama's shirt. I, I'm busy. It's there. I'm busy. So, um, so yeah, we, city, we talked city. about Miami um, winning. So shout out to them. Are you really happy about that? I'm happy. Okay, so didn't win. I just didn't. I didn't want them to beat. I didn't want Fisher to get one more ring more than Kobe. I didn't. I don't like Westbrook and Harden. Kevin Durant is cool, but I just didn't want OKC to win. I'm happy with. I, I didn't want LeBron. LeBron to ever win a ring until it was going to happen. Fifteenth season. Nah, because he won at the same time. Jordan was around the same time. Right but, but hold on, hold on. I saw that shit on Sports <laughs> Center. Jordan went to college. We gotta stop saying LeBron is the youngest. Blah blah blah. Jordan went to college and won a championship, and then he came to the NBA and that won. Is, that is true. You know what I'm saying? That when Kobe was 21, who didn't go to college, he Wait, won Wait, what did they say about LeBron? LeBron is the youngest to do this. LeBron is motherfucker. The youngest to do what? He's not. He's not the youngest. No, they said he, he, he won his first ring. The same time Jordan did. It was, uh, Kobe like, won it a long time yeah, ago. Kobe. But I'm saying it, they compare. Then they had a comparison with LeBron and Magic. Are you fucking kidding yeah, me? That's hysterical. Yeah. Are you Magic's fucking kidding me? Greatest players. He didn't have to score. He could affect the game. That's how it's great too he much. Was. It's too much. Magic he he. Here's, here's my thing. Can I speak on it? Sure. And it's not talking about nobody in the NBA. But think about it. What great teams are in the NBA right now? When Jordan played and Magic played, you had to beat Boston, Detroit, Detroit, Houston, yep, uh, uh, Philly. Milwaukee had a great team, won like, like eight conference. I mean, uh, yeah, that was a long time ago. With Kareem, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. In, in the in the eighties and nineties, Milwaukee was a, was they had T Terry Cummins and uh, Sidney Moncrief. You got to do your history, y'all. Everything happened. You know, shit happened before '06. You know that, right? You got to do your history. So who who the, who the LeBron got to wake up and say, "Oh shit, I got to play Cleveland today." Irving might give it to me. No, you ain't got to play nobody. Uh, who was the worst team? The Charlotte Bobcats. They won like four Ooh. games this year. That's what I'm saying. We gotta put. Uh, uh, well, you know they was. We gotta put a little asterisk by all these goddamn champions. Even the Lakers, they ain't played nobody. Who did the fuck did they play? They played the Kings. Okay, see. Kings was a good team. I'm talking about the Lakers championship. Okay, they beat. They beat the Kings. Or good they team. beat Indiana. Indiana wasn't. Even they good. beat. Uh, 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 San Antonio. Uh, no, they beat San Antonio. The championship. San Antonio. It's the same. Oh, and they beat the Western. Okay. Okay. Who Washington. did they beat? They beat Indiana. They beat uh, 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 New Jersey. They beat Philly. They beat no, no New Jersey. They beat, they uh, beat Orlando. Who the fuck have they beaten? They ain't beat no powerhouse team. Nobody today is beating a powerhouse. But it, I'm really afraid but you of think OKC. That the talent is more spread out. The talent is weakened. 
Because you got too many teams and there's too many motherfuckers in the league. You think LeBron wouldn't have made it back in the 80s and 90s? Because you know, LeBron, LeBron, brought LeBron, LeBron is 6'9". He would have made it. Come on. I think he would have did great. Charles Barkley said it best. Are these people really great or just the best we have right now? Mm -hmm. Charles Barkley without the ring. But he was a ball playing Can't motherfucker, talk. though. He, was, he can play. <laughs> Terrible, terrible, terrible. He's a whole lot of better than... Uh, <laughs> That's what you say, terrible. He's a whole lot better than... <laughs> terrible. You've done his Haslam, I can tell you that. Uh, yeah, you've done his Haslam. Yeah, that's true. I was playing blackjack oh, with you've done his Haslam in uh, what? Vegas. He had the flat top with the music. I hate his afro. I didn't, I didn't know it was him, but then I looked, I was like, you did. no, I really didn't. You had his basketball card in your purse. You know all the players. I was like, all the players. I got the same tattoo. Hysterical. Uh -huh. You knew that was him. So on that note, we're about to go to break. That's my song, Laura Hill. So we're about to come back. We're going to talk about some more topics. This is your song, Lord Hill. This, this song right here. Fuji's. Fuji's. You this play this when you get in touch with your feminine side? <laughs> I play this for the ladies. When the ladies come I don't think the ladies want to hear the Fuji's. Ready or not? I don't think they want to hear that. They do want to hear ready or not. Because I know I'm ready. We would ask this young lady, but she's yeah. texting on that's, That seems like your theme song, Johnny Pack. I know. Ready or not. Ready My theme song is Biggie Small. Warning. That's what you play when you about to yep. have sex? Yep. <laughs> Warning. Warning? <laughs> yeah, bitch. Warning, bitch. Warning. What's oh, a warning? It's going to be a lot of slow singing and then flower break. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Hysterical. So we'll be right back. I'm your boy, D. Bizzle. I'm joined here with... DJ Simpson. Okay, we got work on that. Uh, <laughs> Danielle. And... I'm Johnny motherfucking Mac. It's going down. Play the song. Bizzle. Play some masculine shit.